Astro is joining Cloudflare. So if you're keeping track at home, this now means that Cloudflare has Astro, Vercel has Next.js, but also Nuxt and Svelte, Google has Angular, Microsoft have Blazor, and everybody gets a framework. In all honesty though, this news does seem like a good thing, so let's just jump right in, talk about what this news is, and what this means for Astro going forward. I'll start with a quick recap of what Astro is for those of you that might not know. Astro is an open source web framework, but not a UI one. This is sometimes misunderstood, and you can actually still use React, Vue, Svelte, or Solid with Astro. What Astro provides as its main selling point is making it incredibly easy to build content-driven sites like blogs, documentation, or e-commerce, and making those sites incredibly performant. And its main way of doing that is rendering the site on the server and sending static HTML to the client with the least amount of JavaScript needed, so the initial load is very fast, especially when compared to some of the other options. Now, there's obviously loads more to Astro than just that, and in fact, we've covered a few of the features on this channel, so subscribe for more great content like this. And it's also worth noting Astro can handle more complexity with its island architecture that it helped popularize, but the main thing that you need to know for this story is it makes content-driven sites very fast, and that's why companies like Google, OpenAI, and of course, Cloudflare, use it for things like that blog post, that marketing pages, and their documentation. Even me too, I use it personally for my blog, which I haven't updated in years, but that is definitely not Astro's fault. So with that bit of context then, we're at this blog post from the founder of Astro announcing that they're joining Cloudflare, and I'll just start out with the important bits for those of you that use Astro or want to in the future, and that is the key promises in this announcement. The first one is that it will stay open source and actively maintained. The second is that it will continue to support other deployment options, not just Cloudflare. So hopefully there's no feelings of vendor lock-in like many people feel with Next.js, but Vercel does try and deny. And also the open governance and roadmap are going to stay the exact same with the entire team over at Astro now working at Cloudflare full-time on Astro. So that's pretty good news for everyone over there, which I am very happy to see. But why join Cloudflare then? Well, the answer to that is pretty similar to some of the other stories that we've heard recently. While Astro is an MIT licensed open source web framework, it's backed by the Astro technology company, which is VC backed, AKA it needs to make some money. Now, the original idea was that Astro would sit at the center of a massive developer platform with optional hosted primitives like database storage analytics, all designed in lockstep with the framework, but as Fred says, attempts to introduce paid hosted primitives into the ecosystem fell flat and rarely justified their own existence. Nothing clicked with the users the same way that Astro did. And in fact, we've seen similar stories to this with other projects like Tailwind and Bun, where they perform really well as an open source tool, but not so much as a company. Astro has actually been doubling in downloads every year, and it's now at nearly a million per week, but I imagine their revenue probably wasn't as successful. So that answers why Astro was probably looking for a new place to keep up with the maintenance cost of Astro. But why Cloudflare? And what do Cloudflare want with Astro? Well, they actually realize they've been working towards the same goal from different angles. Cloudflare has always been about solving the fast web problem from the infrastructure side of things, and Astro has been trying to solve it from the framework side. And now, together, they can do both. Plus, Cloudflare was already a longtime sponsor of Astro, even using it themselves for their documentation, their workers' landing page, and a bunch of their marketing sites. So the team over there is already very familiar with it. So it's not just an opportunity to buy a framework, they actually like the goal of Astro and want it to thrive. And I also like Cloudflare as a host for Astro, as they do have a decent track record. They sponsor projects like Hono and Tanstack, and they haven't tried to lock them down onto only that platform. So I think they have some good precedent for keeping things nice and open. And finally, in Cloudflare's blog post, we also get another reason why they might be interested in Astro, and that is because they've already seen a trend of Astro and Cloudflare being used together in the new world of AI. There's tools like Webflow Cloud, Wix Vibe, and Stainless that all use Cloudflare and Astro together, demonstrating that it's good fit for both of them, and there's a demand for this synergy of Astro and Cloudflare. So it really does seem like it's going to be a great home for Astro. And going forward, Astro doesn't have to worry about where they're making their money from, and they can fully focus on making Astro the best web framework for content-driven websites. And in fact, Astro 6 just hit beta, which looks really cool. So subscribe for when we have a video on that. And that's really all there is to this news. I am very excited to see what's coming from Astro now that they can fully focus on it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Why are they subscribed? And as always, see you in the next one.